Hey guys, welcome to Tuesdays on Paperboy with Shell. Um, I'm actually recording this on Sunday. My wife and I and my son, we went out to an air show yesterday. And I live in the DFW area of Texas and it was apparently blazing. I am so burnt. Look at my ears. and oh. I didn't even go to church today because I just feel like crap from the sunburn. Um, but today's topic, this week's topic, I always say today, I'm sorry. This week's topic is about sex drive. Um, and I know that's probably more in relation to being on T and sex drive, which, um, for your new followers, old followers know this, but for new followers, I am not on T yet, I'm pre-T. Um, and, uh, I did not have a sex drive until I basically started dating my wife and I was 40 let's see it was 2009 uh, 2016. about 42 43 I didn't have a sex drive um, all the partners I'd been with before had a higher sex drive than me I could have gone a lifetime without sex and I think that very much ties into not being able to be the real me um, and feeling like I should have had a penis at birth and not connecting to the parts I do have. Um, but when I met my wife, I've never been more attracted to a woman as I am my wife. Um, there's this thing called pheromones. I don't know if it's something within her pheromones that speak to mine, but um, I've, with the, all the other people I was ever with, my attraction waned. It, it faded with time. My attraction to her has never faded. Um, and she opened up my sexuality. Um, she showed me some things. Um, I've done things I never did with her. I mean, with anybody else that I've done with her. Only thing is, I hear that being on T drives your libido way high. And honestly, I don't want that. I actually dread that. Um, I don't want to be ruled by my genitals all day. Um, I've just hear, heard stories of friends who quote unquote, I'm not trying to be graphic here, but I have to take care of things multiple times a day and the idea of that sounds just disgusting <laughs> and annoying. I don't want to be ruled by this feeling that, oh my God, if I don't get off, I'm going to go crazy. So I don't really look forward to that part of tea. Um, I hope that I did talk to one of my friends and he said that, he said that if you didn't have a if you don't have a high sex drive now, being on T is probably not going to affect you. Your sex drive is probably going to stay about the same. And I hope that's true because I I don't want to have a high sex drive. I don't mind having a sex drive. I think it's healthy for your relationship. And for me, it'd be healthy for my marriage. But I don't want to be ruled by it. Um, so, remains to be seen. I plan on having top surgery first, which I'm in talks right now. And soon to have a consultation scheduled hopefully they just verified my insurance and i wanted to do top surgery before t so we'll see it'll probably be uh early next year middle next year before i even um approach the the avenue of testosterone and all that chapter has to bring me so i would have to weigh in more then but as of now i really don't have a high sex drive and I don't want to have a high sex drive, so I have to look forward to what everybody else weighs in. I know that, as usual, I'm not the normal narrative, which is a, how I think I can contribute. Um, I don't know if there's even one guy out there that relates to me, but I hope there is, so he doesn't feel like he's on an island, because I feel like my feelings are usually not in line with a lot of guys. But anyway, I hope everyone has a wonderful week. Be safe, peace, and love. Use sunscreen, kids. This is awful.